divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session one. So why do spirits influence people on earth? Well, it's the same answer to any question of why do the people on earth, people on earth influence another person on earth? Okay. It's exactly the same motivations in the end. It depends upon the motivations of the individual as to why they choose to do it. If their motivations are malevolent or evil in nature, then they'll want to do it in order to get some malicious joy or satisfaction out of it or to manipulate the person into doing something they want or to, or to getting an addiction of some kind. If they are less malicious and just not uh, what we classify as a normal person on earth, then usually it's so that they can get certain addictions fed and certain fears you know, denied and all of those kind of things. If they are a good person, a person who's uh, you know, wanting to do things in harmony with the will of others, then they'll be looking more at your personal welfare as to why they might manipulate you. And they won't ever choose to manipulate you without you knowing. In other words, they won't, ever, they won't ever choose to have a conversation with you unless you know you're having a conversation with them. They would always honour the principles of free will, for example. So, so their influence then becomes very benevolent. It's very lovely and often very positive in our lives. It's like having a nice counsellor with us <laughs> who can tell you, you know, gives you ideas and concepts of what to do without telling you what to do. Yeah. And uh, there are many spirits who want to do that with us as well. So it all depends upon the motivations of the individual. Now, for the majority of spirits who are earthbound, the 20 billion or so spirits that are earthbound, their motivations are exactly the same as the average person's motivations on earth, which means there is some goodness in it and mostly a lot of addictions. And so most of the time their motivations are based around their personal addictions. They want something from you, so they'll do something. Uh, they want to, you know, they want you to do a certain thing, so they want, so they manipulate you because they want it, not because they're thinking about you at all. Mm -hmm. And that is the most common form of manipulation that occurs in the spirit world. Then there is the the malevolent in manipulation, and they, their purpose is to destroy your life. They, you know, there are people in the spirit world who, after they've passed, are so angry and so resentful and so nasty and in a rage. And all they want to do is to, to destroy as many people as possible. That They are unwilling to feel their rage and they're unwilling to feel their other emotions underneath their rage, their sadness and other deep emotions. They're unwilling to take personal responsibility for what's happened. And so what they want to do is project it outwards and damage other people's lives. And so they, they are malevolent spirits who are trying to damage our lives in order to get some malicious satisfaction. Then our beautiful benevolent spirit brothers and sisters are there because they want to help our life. They, they want to protect us from harm. They, they want to protect us from the harm of the malevolent spirits and the spirits who are in addictions with us and they would like to help us have a happy life on earth and in the spirit world. And so their motivations are completely different, very pure, uh, lovely motivations focused on helping our future life both on earth and in the spirit world helping us to make wise decisions that will benefit us through our, our time on earth and also in the spirit world. And so their motivations are just very pure and loving and uh, often they have a fair good, fairly good effect on our lives as a result. Mm -hmm. So it really gets down to the underlying motivations of the personal personality of the individual who's attempting to motivate us or push us in a certain direction as to how much we get influenced. And it really is no different for a person on earth listening to other people on earth than it is for a person on earth listening to spirits in the spirit world. You know, on earth we have very many, very negative influences upon us, media and other types of influence. Even our friends, many of our friends are influencing us to go along with their belief systems. You know, you can see that frequently when it comes to... You know, when a woman's going through a divorce, she attracts a whole heap of other women who are angry as men, all saying, yeah, men are bastards, men are this, men are that. And when a man's going through a divorce, he goes down the pub to drain his sorrows and he's got all the men surrounding him saying, yeah, the women are this and women are that. And this is all part of these standard types of attractions which are all addictive in nature. What they do is they help us to avoid a whole group of emotions. So 
the better thing for a person going through a divorce would be to stay home and have a good cry about it, <laughs> you know, than go out to the pub or down to the, to the coffee shop with the girls or down yeah. to the pub with the guys. Because in the end, if they go anywhere, other than just feel about it, they are going to be influenced by other people's perceptions through their emotional condition. In a previous question, you mentioned that there's spirits that live on the earth even after they pass from the, uh, disconnected from their physical body and mm -hmm. then there's many dimensions that spirits live in according to their condition in love. Mm. Does it follow then that more spirits who are in a lower condition and wishing to avoid their home in the spirit world influence the earth? Or is there an even mix of spirits? Well, no, the, the reality is the, the positive influence upon the earth is greater than the negative influence upon the earth. This has been happening now for quite a few thousand years. And this is why we have a slow improvement on the earth. It's a very slow improvement, but it is an improvement on the earth. And the main reason why we have an improvement on the earth is because we are having a, an improvement in the type of influence we're receiving from the spirit world. And, uh, and so these more positive spirits, the more spirits who get into a positive condition, have a stronger desire to influence people on earth in a positive direction. And as a result, they are influencing the whole earth in a positive direction. Of course, there is the weight or the baggage of these negative influences, the malevolent spirits and so forth. But the power of the positive spirits is much greater than the power of the negative spirits. Mm -hmm. And so slowly, humankind on the earth is slowly improving as a result of this positive influence, even though there is quite a lot of negative influence occurring. Mm -hmm. And so the majority of the influences on earth that, uh, that we feel, even though we're influenced by 20 or so billion negative spirits who are in addictions on earth, we are also influenced by millions of positive spirits who have a much greater power to influence us than the negative spirits. And for that reason, we are slowly progressing on this planet. If it was, the balance was around the other direction, our planet would be actually regressing. And there was a time in human history where we went through regression, a devolution, if you like, mm -hmm. where the influences from the spirit world were so negative that it caused a cycle of influence to be very negative on the planet. And in a very rapid period of time, the, the, every single person on the planet finished up uh, getting into a terrible condition, so bad that the majority of people didn't live longer than 20 years. And then after some of these spirits got into a higher condition, they started to influence the people on earth in a positive direction and thus began the evolution of man, if you mm -hmm. like, the, mm -hmm. where they, they, they were in this terrible state. The body of the men were very, very small, uh, physical bodies very small in comparison to us today. And you can see that as we evolve, we're getting taller and, and, uh, and, and bigger bodies as we go. And this is all part and parcel of the, the evolution again of, mm -hmm. of man, if you can call it that. Mm -hmm. All it really is, is that we've been influenced in a negative condition down to a certain point where we couldn't go beyond. Mm -hmm. And then we started getting influence in a positive direction. And uh, now on Earth, there is a large amount of positive influence occurring. This is why we see a lot of shifts governmentally, socially, towards more equality and so forth, shifts that didn't occur over many thousands of years in the past. Mm. Mm.